Hello and welcome to my channel. We will be focusing mostly on only cooking simulator videos for the time being until, you know, maybe I get some more people who watch my videos and maybe want me to play some other games. But for now, it's going to be a cooking simulator only channel. And I am going to try to five star every recipe and make a tutorial on it. So not just the easy or hard ones will be shown, but all of them. And big trout. I'm pretty sure, if I recall, is the very first dish you make in the game. So I will be starting with big trout. I did already get the four spices you will need for this dish. And in sandbox mode, they are right here. But um, I don't know if you start with any over here in the career mode, but you can use these boxes. You can pick them up, put them here if it's easier for you to get the supplies from right here. And it will have the supplies you need for whatever you're making. This has everything since it has all dishes you can make. But career mode, it will only have what you really need for the dishes you have. So we want to get a trout out of the fridge, of course. Put it on the cutting board. Uh, I did already have um, some black pepper on there something earlier um, so you just want to put five grams on here and you can put too much and still most likely get a five star but you kind of just want to get you know five grams on there to give you the best chance of getting it um, and then of course you put five time and then if you put too much like I said you'll be fine sometimes it won't count the fifth one a lot of time for some reason so you can just sprinkle another one on there and if there's already stuff on the cutting board, it's fine. As long as you don't cook something in, like, a juice that's, like, already on something, it's fine. You can put it on things as long as it's not cooked inside of that. And then you just want to take five grams of dill. And then you're good to go with that. You just want to grab a baking tray. I typically keep my baking trays down here, since you usually want to season... I'm going to grab the thing anyway, so instead of running all the way here to grab a baking tray and then putting it on there and then running all the way back, you can just have it right here to where you put this on the baking tray and then you put it in the oven. I like to use the timers because if you have maybe three orders you're working on, it's just good to keep track of knowing instead of having to check every couple seconds because later on you will get busy in career mode, but maybe I'll do a career mode some other day. So, while this is in there for 90 seconds, you can grab a lemon. So you can do basically two things at once. So while the big trout cooks, you can cut the lemon. You want to cut the lemon into four quarters. It's sometimes difficult with certain things to cut. The lemon isn't too difficult. And I'm pretty sure you can be about two grams off. So you don't have to be like perfect, perfect. And even if you're a little off, there are perks, at least in career mode, that can make it easier. Now, hopefully I cut this perfectly, but like I said, it doesn't have to be 100% perfect. See, that was a kind of bad cut. Now, what you can do is if you have a kind of bad cut like this, where two of them are very uneven, you can just get a new lemon, since you'll usually have enough money to where you'll make a profit if you just spend a couple extra bucks. So it's not the end of the world. But usually I can do it on the first go. I just really haven't played recently, and I just felt like starting to play again and maybe giving some people advice on how to do better. So you just want to cut it, and then you can grab it, do some advanced controls to make it a little easier. I'm going to see how this lemon's cut, see how it's cut like that again. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually just go with it, since I seem to have cut it the exact same way again, and just see if you can get five stars being that that off because I'm not a perfectionist I'm just trying to get five stars which is you know you could say it's perfection but it's not you know a necessity to be at 100% perfect and you need horseradish for after it comes out and you can usually what I do is I put it on when it's on the baking tray like this but if some does get on the baking tray you will want to clean that before you do another dish because 
you can get a lower score if you don't clean it off before you cook it, kind of like what I was talking about earlier. So then the lemons don't need to be cooked in any sort of way. So you can just put that on with the trout. Sometimes you'll want to put maybe the lemons on first in a type of dish like this. You don't have to really on this one. But sometimes if you put the main thing on first, the smaller things will fall off the plate, which can be very annoying. And then you want to garnish with parsley. This is where the parsley is every time right here. You want three because it's two grams each and you need six. So let's see if we can get five stars on this. See, so the lemons didn't have to be cut perfectly. Now maybe the guests complained about them, which they didn't. So you can be decently off sometimes, but sometimes they seem to be more sticklers of it. Now I can do it again, um, just as kind of a, I don't really have to talk much about it as I do it. I can kind of just show it. So maybe if you want to rewatch it and don't want to hear me, you know, blabbering during it, then uh, I can just not say anything this time. Another five stars. So yes, one of the lemons fell, but for some reason this game doesn't really care about that. So if you want to make it more realistic, then maybe you can just get a new lemon at that point. But for the game, you don't have to like clean if something falls on the floor. And I did not cut the lemon perfectly once again, because some, some fruits and vegetables are a little bit harder to cut than others. So yes that's it for this video subscribe and hit the bell for updates on you know if i uh upload some more and hopefully you know this will blow up so where i can 
do that and it doesn't have to blow up big you know if i get a few people watching and they're curious and maybe suggest the next one i do and i can help you out and hopefully get you five stars but thank you for watching and have a great day